Hey everyone, happy Thursday. It is a viewer request day. And today's request comes from an anonymous viewer, but it's gonna be super cool. Um, we've got a 12 by 12 canvas here. This was a pour over. Yeah, definitely a pour over. Um, my white is out, so I just had this turned upside down. So that's why you see that. This will be a flip cup today using Daler Roni Process Black Artist Law Flow Acrylic white and this really pretty it needs water um light blue it is by folk art it's their metallic ice blue is what that is we used it in actually our last viewer request for the uh, feather string pull so with all that being said we're gonna get this mixed up and get started here um, it'll be a flip cup using black, white, and this blue. We're going to use gold for a string pull through that once it's all done. Um, and then, of course, as always, leave your viewer requests in the comments below. You can just leave your favorite color. If you, even if you just have one, if three people put their favorite colors, I can do a pour with that. Uh, your favorite technique. You don't have to give me the entire video <laughs> if you don't want to. If you want to, by all means, go for it. But if that's too much pressure, which I can understand, sometimes it's hard for even me to come up with videos sometimes, um, then just give me what you like and I'll, I'll make do. I'll, I'll figure it out and make you something awesome. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to layer these in here. That seems chunky, so I'm not looking... Wondering how that's gonna turn out. You may be picking some chunks out of that black. That was the light blue. We'll do the white. This is like a gigantic cup, so I always um, tend to overdo it, but wow, I really like this cup so far. That was blue. I'm gonna put the rest of this white in. And I'll flip that also. So we're gonna go ahead and flip this while I get the the string portion. Oh wow! Let me bring you down for this. This is amazing. You have to see it. All right. Look at what's happening in this cup. Look at all those cells. I can't really see it very well on that side. Here, let me go this way. How cool is that? <laughs> All right, putting you back. All right, hopefully I put you back the way you were. <laughs> Otherwise, we're upside down now, and I'll fix that in editing. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to let that sit. I need gloves. What am I doing? And then for the string pull, we're just using a piece of yarn. I've cut three pieces. I was expecting to do three. Given how large this canvas is, I might do more. I can always cut more if I need it. Sometimes I don't like reusing it because you get the base color on it, um, so it mixes. So... Yeah, and I'm just going to actually use the exact same piece of foam board that we used last time. I scraped this off actually, and actually, oh my goodness, what am I doing here? I've got this really cool skin. I don't want to damage it. So, I could fill it off right now. I would be doing that in a rush, and that might damage it. So I'm just going to put a piece of parchment over it. So by just setting this on here, it'll protect it. All right. And we're going to pour some of this gold out. Make sure we have enough to cover our string. We got our strings. Let me make sure everything's in frame because it's kind of jostle things around here. We want to make sure you don't miss any of this. I hate when I go to edit and something's just not in frame properly. It's such a bummer for you guys and for me. I want to show you all the good stuff. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get this pulled off and see what kind of coolness we get. Oh my gosh. This is awesome. Oh, 
keep stretching it here. So stinking cool. That there's no gray in here. It's black, white, and that that light blue. Um or silver even, and the white and the the black made this gray, and then the metallic and the light blue made it silver. Super crazy cool. And I have no idea, I'm probably not at all in frame right now, because when I do the video, it kind of zooms it in a lot, which is sometimes a huge bummer. I apologize, but I promise I will let you see this. Oh my gosh. I kind of don't want to do the string pull through it now. I like it too much. I don't think I want to do it. <laughs> so, viewer who wanted the string pull, that will come at another time. Look at this. I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I am really, really loving this one. Yeah. I'm trying to think, like, what if I just did one? Let me see. Let me see if I can. Let's torch it. Hey, look at the torch being somewhere where I can find it. Normally it likes to hide. All right. Very sorry, viewer, who requested the gold string pull. <laughs> I promise I will do it. I'm actually going to do it right now. It'll just come out at a later time, probably. Or maybe you'll see that one first and this one second. But I love this. Oh, slightly out of frame at the top there. It just looks like if you were inside an iceberg or something. I don't know. I've never been inside an iceberg. But that's kind of the, the feel I get from it. Let me know what you get from this because I get all kinds of like chili <laughs> inside a snowflake or something. <laughs> Let me bring you down for a close up. All right, here we are for the close up. Um, it's upside down from how you saw me do it, <laughs> but we'll start in the upper left hand corner. So many cells. Some white there. That light blue. This side's definitely my favorite. All that lacing and kind of a gradient, like even within it. Like these cells are white and these cells are gray. <laughs> even though there's no gray. Absolutely awesome. The middle. It's got like a lot of black kind of set, like centered there, but then there's these little cells that go through it, which just look incredible. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. I've got to find a super level drying area for it because I do not want this to change at all. <laughs> um, and again, if you have any requests, your favorite color, your favorite technique, absolutely anything at all, I'll be happy to do that for you. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.